Family and Medical Leave Act is a powerful law that protects your rights if you have a severe or serious illness or health condition or your parent does or your child does or your spouse does and you need time off to deal with that serious illness or health condition. Now before we talk about those three basic benefits, I want to tell you there are certain limitations with respect to this presentation. First, this is about the federal law only, the law that applies throughout the United States. Some of your states may have even better laws, so you should look at your own local laws. For example, in California, it not only protects you if you have to deal with a parent, a child, or a spouse, it also protects you if you have to deal with a domestic partner. Number two, this is not legal advice. I am not presenting this to you as a lawyer. If you need a lawyer, please find a lawyer, reach out to your bar association and ask them for a referral if you don't know any lawyers. This is not legal advice, this is simply a description and explanation of the law. Number one, you get up to 12 weeks of unpaid leave to deal with the serious health condition. You get those 12 weeks in the same increment as you're paid. Most of you are paid hourly, so you can take it in hours. You can take an hour at a time, 10 hours at a time, 40 hours at a time. So let's think about this. 12 weeks, if you work 40 hours a week, that's 480 hours of unpaid leave you can take each year. Let's take some examples. Let's say your child has asthma, and you have to take off three hours once a week to deal with the asthma. Three hours a week times 50 weeks is 150 hours, well short of the 480 that you've accumulated. Let's say, for example, you have to deal with a serious health condition that requires you to go to the doctor for an appointment once a week and you have to take the whole day off because you get some kind of shots or medicine or treatment that makes you have to take an entire day. You can't just do it in an hour or two. A full day is eight hours. Eight hours times 50 weeks a year is 400 hours. So you're still within the 480 hours of family and medical leave that you're entitled to. So we've covered the first thing. 12 weeks, 480 hours within a 12 month period. Now what does within a 12 month period mean? There are different ways to measure the 12 months. The easiest way is just to say well within a calendar year. But some employers don't want to do it calendar year because then you, you could take 12 weeks at the end of one year, 12 weeks at the beginning of the next, that would be 24 weeks in a row or six months you disappear. So most employers use what you called a rolling 12 month period. In other words, from the time you begin taking your FMLA or from the time it last ended, they're going to roll 12 months so that they make sure that within any 12-month period, you don't take more than 12 weeks off or 480 hours. Now, let's say that you're salaried, by the way, and you get a check, let's say, once a week. You may have to take FMLA one week at a time. Number two, in addition to that 12 weeks or 480 hours, remember I said you can come back to your job. Now, this is important. Employers will often say, well, you've been away too long, we have to put you in some other job. It may be a different shift, different hours, different pay, different job duties. No way. The law says they must bring you back to your same job or an equivalent job. But equivalent is translated into same hours, same pay, same job duties, same work conditions. So in essence, they have to bring you back to an identical job. The third benefit has to do with your health care benefits. Now, there's no time you need health care benefits, like when you're out because of a serious illness. So what the law provides is whatever your usual and customary group health care benefits are that you receive at work, you continue to receive when you're off on an FMLA leave. What that means is that if you have no health care benefits that your employer supplies, you don't get any when you go out on FMLA. But if you have full health care benefits, the employer has to continue to pay for them. And of course, this is when you most need them to deal with a serious illness of yourself or perhaps a dependent. Or if there's a copay, if you have to pay $25 a month or $50 a month, you have to continue to do that when you're on FMLA. The essence of the law is they can't change your health care benefits. Whatever you've been getting, you continue to get while you're off on FMLA. There's one very important limitation on these benefits. I've got to tell you about it. It's very important. You've got to understand this. If you have any paid leave on the books, vacation, sick leave, what some places call PTO, paid time off, on the books, the employer can require you to burn through your paid time off on the books as part of your FMLA leave. Remember, 
Three basic rights and the employer cannot take them away from you. Number one, up to 12 weeks of unpaid leave. Number two, you're going to have the right to return to your own job or an equivalent, which means pretty much identical. And number three, your usual and customary medical benefits have to continue to be paid for. You.